Hello, Mutiny Cafe. Give it up for Damien and that glorious introduction, everybody, that I received. Give it up for this floor riser I get to stand on, which now makes me roughly six to eight inches bigger than all of you. That's right. That was a dick reference. Hello, camera weird guy. Hello, front row, which is also the camera. What's up? Uh, how is everybody doing? Good. Well, one guy grammatically correct. It's fantastic. See, I am an idiot, right? Because I'm a comedian. Not because I'm a comedian, but it's like, if so facto, idiot comedian. And I have been answering that question that I just asked wrong for a long time now. Because generally, I will, ask, I will be asked, Eric, how are you doing? And me, like an idiot, I will say, good, right? You meant wrongly, anyway. Oh, shit, I fucking hate you right now. <laughs> But anyway, so I goodly answer the request presented in front of me, good! And as Matt just pointed out behind the bar, behind the coffee bar, that the correct grammatically answer is well, you're doing well. But I also, I, I detest, I am a stand-up comedian. I travel the fucking countries entertaining people, cheering people up, really putting myself out there as a service to others. Albuquerque so, is in another country. But Canada is, so <laughs> shut the fuck up, Damien. Uh, <laughs> And so I am out there. And so now when people see me on the street, they say, hey, Eric, I, how are you doing? I say, I am out there doing good. And it's going pretty well. That's right. It's a wordy joke for everyone here. I think I heard that on 30 Rock. You heard that on 30 Rock? Shit. Somebody owes me some fucking money then. <laughs> Sounds like that or I should watch 30 Rock. This is cool. This is like the most punk rock comedy show that will ever be had because it's like doing comedy in front of a punk rock show is like you tell a joke and then someone has to heckle you. That's the fucking quota. It's like, oh, that was funny, but fuck you anyway, right? Just trying to meet that quota. Everything he said. I saw that on a TV show in 1976. So original. I read that joke in the theme. I read that in highlights when I was waiting to get my wisdom teeth pulled. This is fun. You win. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I win. I have the fucking talking stick. That's how this shit goes. This guy can control the crowd. Yeah. Really, really, it's not, though, it's not so much crowd control. It's just classic don't kick my ass. That's all that's going on up here. I learned it in fucking middle school, so. But no, I am doing great, you guys. I will tell the joke now. I love living in Denver, right? You guys, this is the fucking best, right? Greatest city in the fucking... He's, he knows he's wearing a shirt from Pennsylvania. Fuck that place. <laughs> but I love living in, in Denver, not just because of the weed either, but even though I do love to smoke it, I am totally pro-weed. Mostly for financial reasons, right? Because we're going to fucking... What is this? Like a fucking a jigsaw puzzle. I'm trying to be over here to talk to you people, and I have to walk through this spider web of stuff. Give it up for Damien for not putting up for any seats for the audience. <laughs> It's like stand-up comedy, but check it out. Power move. I have a stool. How jealous are you right now? Oh, God. I'm never going to get off stage. There's nowhere else to sit in this joint. But no, I love living uh, in Denver, you guys, because of the weed. Not just for the, for the money, right? Because other states are going to succumb to the structure fires. And we are working on installing a nacho cheese slip and slide down the steps of our Capitol building, right? All of our fucking friends are riding around on roller skates for... With donuts for whales, the drummer over here is giving me rim shots, keeping to the fucking punk rock quota. What a dick. I'm gonna yell out, I'm gonna fucking heckle your band so hard later. Oh my god. That, yeah, that song was good, but I remember when the police played it in Lanchester in 1982. All right, I thought that'd be funnier. The band's gonna do so much better than I am later, you guys. By sitting too much and making everyone envious, that's fine. That was a sit-down joke. That was a sit-down joke. I hadn't even told the joke. That was me sitting down and talking to you about sitting down. That's what that was. Less of a joke, more of a real-life situation. Give it up for this fucking idiot. Hey! You guys, can I get a lift to the Punch Bowl Social or what? Oh, damn! And she's like, oh man, is this dress striped? Is it polka dotted? I'm retarded, I don't know. I'm not gonna make fun of these two because they're not asking for it. Move along. The other two asking for it. I hope the fucking door is open. What's up, what's up? Hey, you wanna go out? You wanna ditch the hero? Get with the zero? What's up? The stand-up comedian, look at this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
and we say one hump the air two times, two hump the air three times, four hump the air two times. I wonder if he knows he's a part of a comedy show now. <laughs> Anyways, back to my joke. My joke, because I'm from Minnesota when I get wasted. Anyways, uh, no, the beer here is off the charts. If you don't, he's back. All right. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. My parents have hugged me enough. Hello. Shots fired. You're cool, too, dude. Hey, she's got a nice... Never mind. Uh, red purse. That's what I was going to say. Red purse. I'm not misogynistic. I love women. I love women more than anything. Besides the points. Oh, I'm trying to milk this bit for one more joke and I didn't get it. We're still going to unwind ourselves. I guess I'll tell the joke. No, the beer is off the charts, right? We have the most craft breweries for what the fuck ever, right? Here in Denver. Like, I was in a bar recently and they had a flyer on the wall for a pub crawl for cancer. That's right. A pub crawl for cancer. Finally hitting the fucking important issues, you know? Tackling that shit in the home front. Once that is such a huge success, you guys are all invited to my LSD party for epilepsy awareness I'm throwing. Uh, it's gonna be in the closet of my studio apartment, you guys. We're gonna lick some koala bears, or lick some paper, draw some koala bears, really feel this one out, you know, get to the bottom of it. Like, cause a pub crawl for cancer is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard of. And <laughs> I've heard of some dumb shit before, right? Like a pub crawl for cancer, that's like having an ice cream social for diabetes awareness, right? Or a fight club for domestic violence. <laughs> Not something you're gonna see, right? Unless you're free next weekend, I'm having a fight club for domestic violence. It's gonna be great. Bring 50 bucks, your wife, your frustrations, just down the street. It's non-profit, unless you're me. All right. That joke usually gets more laughs, but whatever. Where's the heckler per quota on that one? That's like, I don't beat my wife. Anyways, you guys are a weird fucking roller coaster of a crowd. That's cool. You expect us to be married? What? <laughs> married to who? You don't have to be married to convict to whatever domestic violence, sir. You obviously, please don't beat that man later that you're obviously in love with. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. Serious. This is fun. I'm having fun. Are you? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Liar. You guys, I'm excited. My high school reunion's coming up soon. My 10-year high school reunion, right? Don't mean to age this beauty here, but uh, my high school reunion's coming up. I know, right? Go. And no, and uh, you guys fucking scream shit out. This is so funny. You guys are like the type of people that will like heckle something important, like a divorce hearing or some shit, right? Like. Dude, you're gonna get you're gonna get the you're gonna get the hot tub and the kegerator. Fucking right, I will. He was asking. He was asking. Oh god, I don't even want, I don't even get me. Started. I love watching the fucking NFL draft, right? Because it's like a Miss America pageant for future felons. That's really cute, right? Too true. I don't understand. Yeah, no, the number, no, the, 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 what is it, the no more campaign, right? No more. No more beating your wife, no more raping your wife. The number one fucking prospect has alleged rape allegations, and he's not even out of college yet. That's not a joke that just quieted the whole fucking room because that proves how immoral the NFL is, right? Adrian Peterson plays for a team again next year. Ray Rice received $1.588 million for being wrongfully terminated by his employer. I know, it's silent now, because it's not a joke. That's just the NFL. That's what it is. That's the non-tax, or the tax-exempt billion-dollar organization. We live in a fucking country that is made out of paper shea at this point with our economic structure, but we don't. Anyways, too real. Note for comedy. Don't be too real. Anyways, <laughs> you guys want to come over and draw Etch-A-Sketch of boobs and shit later? Let's do it. Fuck yeah. no, Says the weird guy up front. That's fantastic. No? Of course not. How did you go from over there to over here all of a sudden? Well, that was like 20 minutes ago. Oh shit, my time is up, ladies and Magic. gentlemen. Magic. I only told half of a joke so far. This is the best show ever. But anyways. <laughs> Dude, you're hired. You're coming on the road for me. You're going to be a plant every fucking time. Just be a man in a polka dotted hat and a wrist splint. Like, man, I'm impressed other wares. <laughs> this is neat. Have you seen me? I'm helping plant trees with my 100,000 views. <laughs> it's a Pornhub joke. If you're not aware, Google, Google what Pornhub's doing every time you watch 100,000 videos on the porn site. They plant a tree. 
<laughs> That's the truth. Have you also seen the wristband that'll charge your cell phone? I can't wait to hang out at the airport in fucking May. Oh, I'm just, I've got no stuff, I've got no battery. I just, I would use the bathroom, but everyone else is in there. We're gonna find life on another planet, and they're gonna be so much smarter than us. It's gonna be the ultimate fucking, like, you think you're shitty now when you turn on the trivia questions and don't know all the answers. Like, when we find life on another planet, and they are fucking, like, like not hating each other for being gay and shit, and, like, they love women and stuff, we're gonna be like, oh, fuck, we did everything wrong. They have a fucking economical structure. This is neat. Is that the, is that the light? How long have I been up here? Too long. Too long? Do you... <laughs> I know, keeping the fucking quota, I get it, it's fine. This is the most structured show I've ever done, so I'm gonna go home tonight and really think this one over, <laughs> so... The time I did okay in a bookstore, that would be... <laughs> it's really gonna haunt my dreams, you guys. Anyway, so the high school reunion is coming up, and uh... And I'm excited because they actually closed the high school that I went to, and it's going to be at the Cracker Barrel that most of the graduating class still works at. So <laughs> I'm super stoked. That's going to do it for me. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the Muscle Beach and Damien. Should I do more time? Do a little more time, says the monkey in the jacket. All right. That wasn't my closer. Mm. Dance! Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. That's a frog. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Easy. Easy there at Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is too much fun. So I bought, a, I bought a deep fryer recently, you guys, which is the plunge. That's okay. Jealousy is the appropriate response to that statement. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. I own a deep fryer, which means I'm actively trying to fucking shorten my life. That's what I'm doing. With joy. Uh, they say that statistically a bad relationship will end your life roughly seven to nine years prematurely. A deep fryer will also have the same effect, but I will hug that motherfucker into the ground, right? It's great. The hardest part about having a deep fryer is coming home wasted at three o'clock in the morning and trying to remind yourself that you don't own a deep fryer, right? That's the best part. And uh, it's mostly ramblings. I closed two minutes ago, so this is an extra... <laughs> This is like a PS. This is the postscript. Not a lot of people know what PS stands for, I think. So it's postscript. Post secret. Thanks. Keeping up with the keeping up with the hecklers. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. They're gonna be so unruly later. The key is probably music. Music or fucking nude art. That's how. That's what I should have done. I should have drawn pictures of naked women. Be like, I'll make you beautiful. Right? As, instead of being the dick in, in the stage, be like, yo, I'll make you less. He gets it. What are you doing? I was just seeing if we got any notifications. You're seeing if you got any notifications? Everybody collectively check your iPhones. Let's do it. I have a text message. I am being followed now by Z7E Pin... Pan text on Instagram. I got a Snapchat. You got a Snapchat? Pull it up. Yeah. See it. <laughs> Pull it up. <laughs> Show it to sure. Everyone. Why not? <laughs> Show it to the camera. I was actually joking, but. Mm -hmm. I actually well, <laughs> this is what happens when you approach when you approach camera. center stage with a oh, purpose. This is sort of what happens. Out of me. Surprise! No, 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 no! You have that mistaken. That is a Snapchat of, of me, ladies and oh, gentlemen. <laughs> that is me in the back of your dumb head. I'll give you that? You just want to just rip it out of my hands now? After I closed, you told me to go longer. Finish, I suppose. I've been ordered to finish, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. That's a terrible joke. <laughs> terrible joke. Wait, his or mine? Terrible joke. Yours. Mine? What did I say? <laughs> she said that was a sip. That was not a joke. That was a fucking statement. That, that was a sip. You guys are the most unruly set of individuals. <laughs> this is fun. Are you, <laughs> are you having fun? I'm having a great time. I've, I have quit drinking recently because I'm broke, so I only drink on nights when the beer is free. So this is... <laughs> I just revealed this. That's like a magician that reveals his turn. So this is me enjoying everything. This is great. This is such a weird thing to be told to leave the stage by the man that puts you on the stage. No, 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 I'm not telling you to leave. And then told to do more time. 
Everybody, pitch 50 cents for earplugs for this next bit. Let's, let's make it a non-profit. I don't know at this point. Anyways, I will leave on this glorious dismount, everybody. He got a text message. I hope it's a, I hope it's a picture of a dick. I'm trying. If you ask my latest girlfriend, the only way I can finish is if I handcuff you to this bar stool. <laughs> Let's give it up for Fifty Shades of Grey for exposing that every woman just wants to be fucked real good. That's the secret, gentlemen, is that just fuck your woman real good. This is darker than the NFL band. I know, right? This is so weird. This is such a weird thing. And he got down in prone position. I left my fuzzy cuffs at my apartment. I'll be back in seven minutes. I live down the street. I never finished the deep fryer bit, right? So... <laughs> So I bought this deep fryer, right? And so it's taught me that like, like I might die of heart attack now. And so if that were to be the case, you guys, I want, I want to lay down some ground rules for my fucking funeral, right? I don't want to be cremated and I don't want to be buried in the fucking earth. What I want is, for starters, jazz funeral, right? I want Muscle fucking Beach to play yeah. my jazz funeral. Which if you're unfamiliar with the jazz funeral, it's big party time, then you go to a church, and then it's big party time. It's kind of weird, I know. But that's a jazz funeral. So I want a jazz funeral, and then instead of being cremated or buried, I want you to just go ahead and heat up some vegetable oil at about 375 degrees. <laughs> Dip me in that beer batter and just fucking drop me and then serve me at the wake. It's a bloomin' hendo for you and all your loved ones. That's right. <laughs> Celebrate my life in deep fried format. That's right. But no, I will get out of here and I will close on this, you guys. I have been having a great time. I have been getting hammered. I hope you guys all have been getting hammered as well. Uh, I do not condone drunk driving, everyone. I know we can't all be as privileged as me and live down the street, but I don't condone drunk driving, but I do understand it. I get it, right? We've all been there in the coffee shop getting hammered, playing pinball, right? Get that confidence in you, that, 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 that feeling like you can do anything. You feel like you're invincible, right? And then you hop behind the wheel of your car. And then all of a sudden it's like playing your video games. Like as soon as that door clicks shut, it's like hitting that star in Super Mario Brothers, right? What's that? A DUI checkpoint? It's bad, right? You pull over, get arrested, you end up in jail, then it's like the underground level. Like the do-do-do-do-do-do. It's a totally different game, right? Dodging fireballs, some dude's calling you princess. It's weird, right? And the stone driving's like the underwater level, like the doo 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 If you didn't all laugh at that, it's not my fault you didn't make it that far in that fucking video game. So study up for next time, you guys. That's gonna do it for me, everybody. You have been great. Enjoy Muscle Beach, mostly harmless mutiny cafe. Oh, Damien's not in the bathroom. He's just not coming up here. I'm gonna leave the mic on his broken iPad. Thank you so much.